My 44 meters wife 41F was recently contacted by her ex-boyfriend co-writer 36 meters and I've grown a bit nervous. Hello everyone, let me first start by saying that my wife and I are very open, maybe way too open about our past and past partners and all that. She is my second wife. My first wife was big on fidelity and we broke up over her cheating. The ex and I share a son. My wife also has a daughter of her own from a previous marriage. We've been married for 5 years and our little blended family works well together. TLDR wife's ex-boyfriend messages my wife about a writing project they worked on years ago. She cheated on her ex-husband with this man about a decade ago. I'm worried old habits will repeat. As I mentioned earlier we are perhaps too open about our past relationships. Her first husband, was a serial cheater. He was a musician and slept around with women from his gigs. She stumbled onto his emails only to learn that he was involved with five other women one of which he'd gotten pregnant. Not wanting their child to grow up in a broken home she wanted to save the relationship and reached out to one of her old internet friends for advice, we'll call him, Chris the two had been friends for seven years up until that point but had never met, they were writing partners. In fact before they lost contact they had been writing a novel together. She tells me that when she reached out for support he was very kind and had actually been recommending a lot ways to get past infidelity or what you should speak to attorney about, in general being a good friend. Somewhere in that they decided to revisit writing their book again. According to her they would casually flirt but as they lived on opposite sides of the country they had no means to act. In all this she decided her marriage was dead and stopped trying to fix things, checked out I guess. She and Chris expressed mutual attraction and by the end of the year he flew out to meet her. She filed for divorce right after the affair got physical, and Chris moved later that year to be with her. To make a long story short her daughter who was only 5 at the time didn't really take to him. As she says he didn't do anything wrong she just wasn't adjusting properly after the divorce and didn't like somebody replacing her father. My wife told him they needed to take a break due to this and due to the fact that he's a bit crass sometimes. She had only intended for it to be a short break, but he was apparently so hurt that he'd moved that far to be turned away two months in and so he broke it off entirely. After months had gone by they reconnected to try and finish their book. They began sleeping together again during this time, but it was just a physical thing. They came close to finishing the book, but she started dating me, thus they stopped sleeping together. She felt weird about having an ex hanging around once she got in a committed relationship and so by her own admission she stopped returning his emails, which were all book related, with the same frequency and stopped working on it on her end so much. He grew frustrated after a few months of this and blocked her on everything, which finally brings us to month ago. After four or five years of no contact he messages her out of the blue. He contracted COVID and nearly died. Chris contacted her because apparently in that time apart he rewrote the book without her contributions, managed to get published, wrote and published a sequel, and released his work came really close to not be finished if he died. He wanted to make it known that if something should happen to him that he wanted the rights of this thing turned over to her as she knows how it will end and helped create the story. Fair enough, that actually sounds nice, but then they get to talking. He's apparently writing a comic adaptation, and he invited her to come on board for it. He has a lot of the art done and she was very excited showing me and explaining to me who all the characters were, their backstories, what she thinks he got wrong in the design. She also read the first book and is telling me which names he changed, what characters were and weren't in their version, the plot differences and she seems to be having a lot of fun with it. I knew they wrote together, she's mentioned it before, but I had no idea they had this whole universe created. I can tell it was something that was really important to her. She seems like she might take him up on the offer, and this worries me. Every time they've worked on something in the past it leads to S time. And there is a bit of S time Ool content in their writing. I'm not the jealous type, and I certainly don't want to step on a dream she had buried, but I don't want a repeat of history. I'll admit I decided to snoop their conversation, and while he seems like he's been on the level and is only really discussing the project, She's pressing for information on his personal life. I wouldn't say in a flirty way, but she asked him if he's seeing anyone now, and when he answered no, he's too busy, that relationships just get in the way, she told him he needs to get back out there. That celibacy isn't a good look on him. 
we're pretty open about our past s time life, so I know her ex-husband was terrible at it, and once when drunk she said of Chris don't let a great duck convince you it'll be a great relationship. How the hell do I proceed? I know she was emotionally broken by her ex-husband and that's why she cheated, but she did cheat with this man. I've met him, he seems like an on-the-level guy, but they have a history that tells me something might happen. I want to approach my wife with my concerns, but I don't want to seem like an overbearing, controlling person. I want her to have her creative outlet, because she glows in a way I've never seen before when she talks about this book I barely knew anything about. It feels like it's something that was deeply important to her that she efforts not to be important. I want that for her, but I don't want their interactions to escalate into something more like they have three times already. Redditor's Reactions Redditor 1, as usual, print out this post, and hand it to your wife, especially since you say you two are so open with each other. You will never be more eloquent than what you just wrote. Good luck, Redditor 2, I would say a very acceptable boundary to draw is I'm not okay with you making a book with the guy who you left your last husband for. Redditor 3, you tell her that you are not okay with her having contact with her former affair partner and that it will be the end of the family if she proceeds. You should not have to sit there and watch and worry and wonder what is going on between them. It is totally antithetical to any reasonable concept of marriage. Redditor 4, she's an admitted cheater. Biggest fact about a cheater is that they lie. A lot. I'd be doubting her history with her ex right now. Beyond that, I'd just end it right now. Her wanting to start any kind of relationship with a guy that she always winds up f-king, that's just insanely inappropriate of her to even suggest. This to me would be her failing the long-term partner test. Redditor 5, like someone else said, ask if you can be looped in on the project, and be introduced to Chris so he's less of an unknown quantity. It seems unfair to stop her from doing this when it's a universe she puts so much thought and heart into creating. As a writer, I'd be devastated to pass something like that up. Not collaborating closely on S-Time scenes seems like a very reasonable boundary, though. Have you talked to her at all about your concerns? Redditor 6, why you may have to man up and be honest and tell her about all the red flags she asking you be okay with. Ask her how she would feel if you started working with an ex-girlfriend whose relationship ended on good terms. Then tell her you're sorry but this isn't right, but you can't stop her. When problems start tell her this is on you and she needs to fix it.